recession. What does that mean for the economy and housing prices? Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and today I want to talk about the economy and home prices. Now, it's been a crazy few weeks in the stock market, and depending on what you're reading out there, there are some very scary headlines. But these headlines can be a little overwhelming, so let me cut to the truth as it relates to the real estate market. We are currently in the longest period of economic growth in U.S. history. This period of growth will end when we have two consecutive quarters of declining gross domestic product, or GDP. That is the actual definition of a recession, two consecutive quarters of declining GDP. But let me be clear, a recession does not equal a housing crisis. They are not the same thing. The recession that had the most impact on housing prices was the last one in 2008, and that recession was preceded by and caused by a meltdown in the housing and mortgage markets. Naturally, because of this, we saw home prices hit very, very hard, and it was very bad for a lot of people. We're not trivializing that. But back then, people were getting mortgages on multiple properties with, in many instances, no documentation whatsoever. They could just make up whatever income they wanted, and they would get approved for the mortgage. That is certainly not the case since about 2009 when the last recession officially ended. Just ask anyone who's bought a house since 2009. It is much harder today to get a mortgage than it was back then. They are checking multiple years of tax returns now, making sure your debt to income ratios are lower than they were back then, just to make sure that buyers have a real financial history, uh, a real history of financial stability to show that they can pay back current mortgages that they're giving out. So we're not experiencing the same issues to the same extent that we were back uh, in the last recession, that, or in the last housing collapse that started the, the last recession. In fact, in three of the last five U.S. economic recessions, home prices actually increased. So if we look at any indicators of any upcoming recessions, they're actually not linked to housing. The most likely cause of any potential future recession at this point seems to be trade wars and the bumpy geopolitical climate. But people tend to be short-sighted and they remember the last recession and what happened after it and during it without looking at the long-term trend of U.S. house prices, which has been basically a straight line up. In other words, do not let the scary headlines and the thought of a recession lead you to believe that we're heading for a housing crisis. Right now is actually an unprecedented time with buyers having more inventory on the market than they've had in the last five or so years to choose from and interest rates at historic lows back b between three and a half and four percent, which historically is insanely, insanely low. Ask your parents or ask anyone who bought a house in the 80s what their interest rate was. I'm sure they'll tell you it was something in the teens. These are historically very, very low mortgage interest rates. So even if a recession is coming in the next few years, it does not mean that it's the end of the world for housing. If their recent volatility in the stock market has you worried, consider investing in the safest market out there, the real estate market.